Have you ever stopped to think about the small habits that can make a big difference in health, especially when it comes to prediabetes and diabetes? Sometimes, it's the daily choices that shape our future well-being. Have you considered which habits can assist in preventing or managing these conditions? Diet, physical exercise, stress management, and even the quality of sleep play fundamental roles in this scenario. What habits do you believe are most impactful in dealing with prediabetes and diabetes? Let's discover some habits that might help. Healthy eating. Carbohydrate control. Carbohydrates are a crucial source of energy, but their quality is essential for metabolic health, especially for those with prediabetes or diabetes. Prioritizing complex and whole carbohydrates, such as whole grains, oats, quinoa, brown rice, legumes, beans, lentils, and starchy vegetables, sweet potatoes, squash, is essential. These foods have a lower glycemic index, meaning they are digested and absorbed more slowly, helping control blood sugar levels and preventing spikes. Fiber Fiber is a significant ally for controlling blood glucose. It's found in fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. Consuming fiber, especially soluble fiber found in foods like oats, apples, beans, and lentils, can slow down glucose absorption, keeping blood sugar levels more stable. Additionally, fiber aids in a feeling of fullness, assisting in weight control. Balanced meals. Maintaining balanced meals is crucial. This involves combining different food groups like lean proteins, fish, poultry, tofu, complex carbohydrates, vegetables, healthy fats, avocado, nuts, and an adequate amount of fiber. Having smaller and more frequent meals throughout the day, rather than large spaced out meals, can help avoid major fluctuations in blood sugar levels. Reducing sugar intake. Avoiding processed foods, sweets, and sugary sodas is crucial for controlling blood glucose. Added sugars in processed foods are quickly absorbed, causing glycemic spikes. Opting for natural sources of sugar, like fresh fruits instead of processed desserts, is a great strategy. Reading food labels is important to identify hidden sugar additions in many processed products. Choosing natural and whole foods, along with proper portion control, plays a significant role in controlling blood glucose. This not only benefits those at risk of developing diabetes, but also contributes to a healthier and more balanced diet for everyone. Physical exercise. Regular activity. Regular physical exercise plays a fundamental role in controlling blood glucose. Options like walking, swimming, cycling, and even dancing are aerobic activities that help increase insulin sensitivity, allowing cells to better absorb glucose from the blood for energy. These exercises also help reduce insulin resistance, a major issue in people with type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. Resistance exercises. In addition to aerobic activities, resistance exercises like strength training, weightlifting, Pilates, or yoga are essential. These exercises help improve body composition by increasing muscle mass and reducing body fat. This directly contributes to insulin sensitivity since muscle tissue is a significant glucose consumer. With more muscle mass, the body becomes more efficient at capturing and using glucose, helping maintain blood sugar levels under control. Importance of Consistency Emphasizing the importance of consistency in exercises is crucial for reaping long-term benefits. The ideal is to aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week as a general recommendation along with incorporating resistance exercises at least twice a week. However, it's important to tailor the exercise program according to individual physical capacity and seek guidance from a healthcare professional or fitness educator for a personalized plan. Variety and Enjoyment in Physical Activity 
In addition to consistency, variety and enjoyment in exercise are crucial to maintain motivation. Trying different forms of physical activities can help find the one that suits personal preferences the most. Physical activities should be a pleasurable moment, not just an obligation, to ensure long-term adherence. Combining regular aerobic activities with resistance exercises is a powerful strategy to control blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and promote better overall health in individuals with prediabetes or diabetes. Weight Control Relationship between weight and type 2 diabetes Excess weight, especially abdominal fat accumulation, is closely linked to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This occurs because adipose tissue, especially around abdominal organs, can trigger insulin resistance, where cells don't adequately respond to insulin produced by the body, resulting in elevated blood sugar levels. Importance of weight loss. For many people, modest weight loss can have a significant impact on reducing the risk or controlling type 2 diabetes. Studies have shown that a weight loss of just 5 to 10 percent of total body weight can improve insulin sensitivity, reduce fasting blood glucose, and decrease the need for medication in people with type 2 diabetes. Strategies for maintaining healthy weight Balanced diet a balanced diet, rich in nutrients, focused on whole foods, fiber, lean proteins, and healthy fats, can aid in weight loss and maintaining metabolic health. Regular physical exercise, as mentioned earlier, regular physical activity not only helps control blood glucose but is also fundamental for healthy weight loss and maintenance. Stress management and adequate sleep Chronic stress and lack of sleep can affect hormones regulating hunger and satiety, leading to less healthy food choices and difficulty maintaining proper weight. Individualized approach. It's important to note that each person is unique, and the approach to maintaining a healthy weight can vary. Factors like genetics, underlying medical conditions, and lifestyle play important roles. Therefore, seeking professional guidance, whether from a doctor, nutritionist, or fitness educator, to develop a personalized and realistic plan is essential to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. The importance of consistency. Maintaining a healthy weight isn't just about losing weight, but also about sustaining this achievement in the long run. Sustainable changes in eating habits, regular physical activity, and adopting a healthy lifestyle are crucial for lasting and beneficial health outcomes. In summary, maintaining an appropriate weight plays a crucial role in preventing and controlling type 2 diabetes, significantly reducing the risk of the condition or helping to manage it more effectively. Monitoring and medical care. Regular checkups. Regular checkups are essential for those at risk of diabetes or who have already been diagnosed with the condition. These examinations allow continuous monitoring of blood glucose levels and help identify early any changes that may indicate problems in diabetes control. Some of the most common tests include Hemoglobin A1c. This test provides an average of blood glucose levels over 2-3 to three months. It's a valuable tool for monitoring glycemic control. Blood glucose tests conducted fasting or after meals to measure blood sugar levels at specific times of the day. Oral glucose tolerance test, OGTT helps assess the body's ability to process glucose. Lipid and kidney function tests, important for monitoring the potential effects of diabetes on organs like the kidneys and heart. Adherence to treatment. If diagnosed with diabetes, strict adherence to the treatment plan is crucial for controlling the condition and preventing long-term complications. This treatment may include Medications. The doctor may prescribe medications to help control blood sugar levels. Some increase insulin production, others aid in insulin sensitivity, or slow down carbohydrate absorption. Insulin. In cases of type 1 diabetes or when type 2 diabetes progresses, insulin may be necessary to regulate glucose levels. Diet. A balanced and personalized dietary plan is crucial. 
Controlling carbohydrate intake, monitoring portions, and making healthy choices are important practices. Physical exercise, a regular exercise program is essential to help control blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and maintain a healthy weight. Self-management and education, in addition to prescribed treatment, education and self-management are essential components in diabetes care. This includes learning to monitor glucose levels at home, understanding signs and symptoms of hypo or hyperglycemia, knowing the importance of diet and exercise, and seeking information from reliable sources to make informed decisions about self-care. Importance of a multidisciplinary team, diabetes care often involves a team of healthcare professionals, such as doctors, nutritionists, fitness educators, and nurses. This multidisciplinary approach helps provide comprehensive support tailored to individual needs and assists in understanding and adhering to the treatment plan. Strict adherence to prescribed treatment, along with regular examinations and an informed self-management approach, are fundamental pillars for effective diabetes control, aiming to prevent complications and maintain a good quality of life. Stress Management Understanding stress impact on diabetes, stress can lead to the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which increase blood glucose levels. In people with diabetes, this increase can be more pronounced, making glycemic control more challenging. Additionally, stress can influence behaviors such as unhealthy food choices, lack of physical activity, and inadequate rest, indirectly affecting glucose control. Strategies for Managing Stress 1. Meditation and Mindfulness Practices like meditation, mindfulness, and breathing techniques can reduce stress levels by decreasing the release of stress hormones and promoting a sense of calmness and relaxation. 2. Relaxation Exercises Yoga, Tai Chi, or simply performing stretching and progressive muscle relaxation exercises can help reduce body tension and stress response. 3. Hobbies and relaxing activities, finding time for enjoyable activities like reading, painting, listening to music, gardening, or any hobby that brings relaxation helps distract the mind from daily stress. For physical exercise, besides the direct benefits for glycemic control, physical exercise is also a powerful stress reducer, releasing endorphins that improve mood and reduce tension. Establishing a stress reduction routine, consistency is key to reaping the benefits of stress management. Integrating stress reduction practices into daily routines can be highly beneficial. Starting the day with a few minutes of meditation, practicing deep breaths during the day, allocating time for relaxing activities in the evening, all these can help keep stress under control. Seeking support Seeking social support is also important. Talking to friends, family, or participating in support groups can help deal with stress, share experiences, and gain emotional support. Importance of self-care Managing stress isn't just useful for controlling diabetes, but also for promoting overall well-being and mental health. Prioritizing self-care and adopting regular stress reduction practices are an essential part of a comprehensive care plan for those living with diabetes. Sleep Control Relationship between sleep and diabetes, the quality and duration of sleep significantly influence blood glucose control. Chronic sleep deprivation and disorders like sleep apnea are associated with an increased risk of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. When we don't sleep enough or have poor sleep quality, the body may become less sensitive to insulin, increasing blood sugar levels. Sleep-wake cycle and hormones The sleep-wake cycle is closely linked to hormonal regulation. Lack of sleep can lead to changes in appetite-controlling hormones, leading to cravings for sugary and carbohydrate-rich foods, negatively impacting glycemic control. Moreover, sleep deprivation can lead to an increase in cortisol, the stress hormone, which, in turn, can elevate blood sugar levels. Tips to improve sleep quality 1. Consistent routine Try to sleep and wake up at the same times every day, including weekends, 
to regulate the biological clock. 2. Suitable environment. Create a sleep-friendly environment with a comfortable temperature, a good mattress, and a dark, quiet setting. 3. Avoid stimulants before bed. Reduce caffeine intake, heavy meals, and alcohol before bedtime, as they can interfere with sleep quality. 4. Turn off electronic devices. Avoid using electronics at least an hour before bedtime, as blue light can interfere with melatonin production, the sleep hormone. 5. Relaxation practices. Adopt relaxing routines before bedtime, such as taking a warm bath, reading a book, or practicing relaxation techniques like meditation or deep breathing. Importance of restorative sleep. Quality sleep not only helps in controlling blood glucose but also promotes mental health, physical recovery, and cognitive function. Prioritizing restorative sleep is fundamental for those seeking to prevent or control diabetes, being a crucial aspect of a healthy lifestyle. Seeking professional help. If there are consistent difficulties sleeping or suspicions of sleep disorders, it's important to seek specialized medical help. A specialist can diagnose and treat specific sleep problems, which can have a significant positive impact on metabolic health and diabetes control. Avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. 1. Smoking cessation. Smoking can increase the risk of complications associated with diabetes. 2. Moderate alcohol consumption. If drinking, do so in moderation, as alcohol can affect blood glucose levels. Adopting these healthy habits not only helps in preventing or controlling diabetes, but also contributes to a healthier life overall. It's always important to consult a healthcare professional for personalized guidance tailored to individual needs.